Behind each of these doors is a random Pokemon. And on top of the door is a hint of what is inside. The Pokemon can range all the way from common all the way into legendary. And after doing this, until we have a complete team of Pokemon, Jack and I are going to battle. Yo, round number one, looks like we have typings on top of the doors, Mr. Jack. Yes, give it eight. Boys, we have some interesting options. Honestly, I'm least interested in this middle one because normal and flying, there's a lot of those. A lot of flying type Pokemon also so carry the normal type as well, like Pidgey, Pidgeot, Fero. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's see. So we have water type. We have a bug psychic type. Or is that, wait, is that fairy type? I forgot to study my typings. And then over here, we have a normal grass type Pokemon. On the left, we do have straight up ground, which leaves us with a lot of options, which is pretty scary. One in particular, though, is a Groudon. Electric and fighting. I don't know what Pokemon this is. I cannot think of a single electric and fighting type Pokemon, which which really piques my interest and really makes me want to pick it. So the water type is honestly pretty tough because that could be so many different types of Pokemon. This one is a little bit different because I don't really know of any Pokemon that have the bug fairy combination. And then over here, we have the normal grass combination, which honestly, I'm not going to go for that one. So let's see what we would have missed. Oh, we could have missed a deer. I'm locking in this right door, baby. Come on. First though, let's see what we miss out on. On the left, we have a... Ah, Hippopotas. So let's see what water type we missed. This is... Oh, what's up there, little dude? We missed out on a Sobble. We also missed out on a Swablu. Okay, let's see what's behind this door. What the... What is that? With that being said, though, let's see what we actually did get. Three, two, one... Oh, a Palmod, yo, okay. We got our hands on a cutie fly. Are you kidding me right now? For round number two, Jack, we only get to know their Japanese name. Oh, I don't know Japanese. What, dude? Konnichiwa? This is going to be a tough one. All I can say is good luck. Oh, wait a second. No, stop, stop. You said you don't know Japanese. I don't need to know Japanese to know that this one is exactly what I think it's going to be. And if it's not, I am, I'm gonna scream. On the left, we have Renimbaru. I don't, I don't know how to actually pronounce it in Japanese, but maybe if I really get into it, it'll help me out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think that we should just lock this in right now because, uh, yeah, there's only one other Pokemon that sounds like Igon. I, I think it's Maridon. And I think this might be a legendary. In the middle, we have Erikido. I feel like electric, dude. I'm getting electric vibes from this. Could be like an Elekid. I don't know, dude. I literally have no idea. I do like the sound of Erikido, though. Okay, so this one over here is a Biaki. I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong. So let's see what Pokemon could this be. What? That is the last type of Pokemon I thought. Anyway, on the right, we have Charemu. That could be like a Charizard or a, even a Charmeleon or a Charmander. It could be any of those. This one is a Fupa. Okay, Fupa in Japanese equals a Hoopa in English. No, bro. Winnie the Pooh. Dude, wait, okay. I think I'm gonna have to lock in this left door. It does give me Winnie the Pooh vibes and everybody loves some Winnie the Pooh. Let's see what we miss out on. Is this indeed a Charizard? No, it's a Medicham. Okay, I was not guessing that in a million years. I really hope that this is Maridon. Please tell me it is what I'm thinking it is. Oh, wait a second. Anyway, in the middle, we miss out on Erekidu, which is a... Oh, whoa, dude, I was right. No way. Come on, please be something sick. Please be something sick. Three, two, one. Yo, Quaquavel, yo, that is actually sick. Definitely the best Pokemon out of all of these three, especially because of its signature move, Aqua Step. But ladies and gentlemen, we got the second best. We got the Flygon, which apparently is Forygon. Oh, okay. I kind of see how it sounds similar. Jack, round number three is a weird one. It's a, it's a, it's a very strange one, especially if you were a part of it, because this is the Pokemon supposed search history. Thank goodness we are not a part of this round. 
temper? What the heck? So, okay, so this is what the Pokemons would search if they had access to Google. Exactly. You got that perfectly right. On the left, we have how to predict the future accurately. That to me just sounds like it's probably a psychic type Pokemon. It could be a slow bro, it could be a slow king, but would it really be that? Because they are so dumb, is that really what they would be thinking? Okay, so we have three different questions that we need to decipher which Pokemon would have asked this question. So this Pokemon would have asked how to find the best gemstones. So I have a feeling that could be Sableye. Sableye has like a gemstone on its head, so maybe he's looking for more gemstones. In the middle, how to survive mass extinctions. That does not sound good at all. It sounds like whatever Pokemon is behind this door is maybe going extinct. Over on the right, we have a uh, Pokemon that is curious about taking care of a baby dragon. And then on the right side, we have a Pokemon that cannot control its temper. I feel like this could be Rompardos, who is just like the angriest looking Pokemon I've ever seen. On the right, we have how to deal with static electricity in your main. Whoa! Okay, okay. That one, I think, is probably the most obvious. I'm feeling like that has to be a Luxray. I mean, Luxray is a lion that has a mane and is also an electric-type Pokemon. So I don't think I'm curious about the Pokemon with gemstones or the Pokemon that can't control its temper. But I really think that this Pokemon is going to be one of my favorite Pokemon in the entire world, Dracloak. So with all that being said, I'm going to lock in the blue door how to predict the future accurately. First, though, let's see what we miss out on. This probably is a Luxray. What? Zeb Striker? In the middle, we have how to survive mass extinctions. Whoa, Aurorus. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and see what we missed out on. So we missed out on a Gabite. And then on this side, which Pokemon can't control its temper? I really hope it's not a Charizard. Oh, okay, so a uh, Gyarados can't control its temper. Okay, guys, so in the middle, we have the Pokemon that needs to know how to care for a baby dragon. Let's see. Yes, dude, I was right. We have our Drac cloak right there and then the little baby dragon. Oh, he's so adorable. On the left, hopefully this is a psychic type Pokemon. Give me like Alakazam or something. Let's see what it is. Three, two, one. Alec, I am an actual genius. I guessed the exact Pokemon that I was going for. Well, I didn't. And I just got a Gothitelle. <laughs> uh, that is pretty sad. I'll trade sad. you. I'll trade you for my cutie fly. No, I, I I will never accept that little rodent on my team. Well, Jack, for this next round, the only info that we get is how tall the Pokemon is. Our three options are seven foot three inches. That is pretty tall, especially in Pokemon. Then we have five foot seven. That's Charizard. Am I a nerd for knowing that? That's literally Charizard 100%. On the right, we have 12 feet 10 inches. Okay, guys, so we have a Pokemon that is 30 feet and 2 inches. Over on the right side, we have uh, 3 feet 11 inches. You see, this is where the inches matter when you are very short. And then in the center, we have a Pokemon that is 5 feet 11 inches, just shy of 6 foot. The tallest should be the most powerful. That's not always the case. It could be like snake Pokemon or just like fish Pokemon that are just really long. And you know what? For some reason, I'm feeling like 7 feet 3 inches is the most ideal size for supreme athlete. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, out of every single Pokemon here, I feel like the 30 foot two inch Pokemon is uh is gonna be trash. I just have a weird feeling because they're gonna make me think that the bigger it is, the cooler it's going to be, but uh, I don't believe it. We got, oh, okay, so we missed out on a Steelix, and I also don't think I wanna go with the Medium King, so we're gonna go ahead and see what we missed out on. Oh, this is a Cleavor. So with that being said, I'm gonna lock in the seven foot three, hopefully behemoth. Let's see what we missed out on though. The 12 foot 10 inches is a, yes! I knew it was gonna be some gimmick dumb Pokemon. It's a Delmize. In the middle, please show me Charizard. That's so awkward. And guys, over on the right side, we have our short king. Oh, yes, dude. We got a Lucario. All right, let's see what the seven foot three Pokemon is. I'm feeling like it's going to be something sick. Come on, three, two, one. Okay, I don't have a grass or a ground type on the team yet, so I'll take a Torterra. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. We can definitely make do with it. The next round, Jack, is the cries of the Pokemon, the sound that they make when you throw them into battle. Let's test out this first door. 
I've heard that before. I think that's a legendary. Is it a legendary bird? I feel like that might be a mole trace in the middle we have. I feel like it might be like a Tyrantrum or maybe like a Guzzlord. On the right, we have... Dude, that's a legendary. I'm gonna base it on how they make me feel. Okay, so if I click this one, let's just see how we feel. I don't know what it is, but that one sounds legendary. And this one sounds also pretty powerful. And last but not least, that one honestly sounds kind of like a broken dishwasher. Dude, I feel like all three of these Pokemon have to be legendaries. Oh, they're all so sick. I just have a feeling that this one might be the best. I don't know. I honestly can't even tell you why. That is the, the cry of... Greninja, dude, no way. Well, unfortunately for us, uh, we did not get Greninja, which could have been an amazing pickup. In the middle, we missed out on this, which kind of sounds like a like a dragon Pokemon. Let's see. Oh, we missed out on a Duralodon. I'm honestly okay with that. The one in the middle, though, that is very... <sighs> yeah, that one is crazy. I think that might be like a Guzzlord or something. <laughs> That's a bird, dude. That, that's a Zapdos. I think it's Zapdos, Guzzlord, and then I'm not really sure, but probably something very powerful. And I'm gonna lock it in, boys! Come on! And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, let's see. If I was correct. Okay, I really hope that my ears did not fail me today. Give me a legendary. Oh my god! Oh! 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 oh, oh. Let's see what we missed out on. This cry is a Blaziken. I'm fine with not getting a Blaziken, though. Hopefully, we got something better here. This cry is a Komoa. On the left, this is what we locked in, and it is a... Oh, yes! I was way off. I thought it would have been like a fairy Pokemon, but no! It is a dark demon Pokemon. Eveltal, baby. We are now on to the final round, which theoretically should have the best Pokemon in it. So choose wisely. There's a bunch of numbers looking at me. I did not realize today's video would have numbers. Right. It is their highest base stat. Oh. So obviously, I mean, this one over here is 135. I think that's physical. So, I mean, we should just pick this one if we want a physical attacking Pokemon because it's higher than 135. And then over here we have, I think this is the special attack. That's 150. Guys, you're going to laugh at me. You're going to be like, oh my god, your side would look at you. Your nose is so huge. Your forehead's massive. You wear a hat because you're balding, but also you're a nerd because you know exactly what Pokemon this is based off of its special attack stat. That, my friends, is a Mewtwo. 100% this is a Mewtwo. The reason I know that is because I know that Mewtwo has a special attack stat of 154. So, out of all of my Pokemon, let's see, I think a lot of them are probably special attackers. Looks like Flygon has some pretty high speed and also pretty high attack, so we should probably go with the special attack. Okay, guys, let's lock that in. Let's see what this nub over here is. It is, oh, not even a nub, dude. That is a Salamence. And also, look at that Pokemon. I think that's going to be an Eveltal. I think I'm going to roll the dice and go with one of these other Pokemon because I know for a fact that they're strong. So really, no matter what, I feel like I can't go too far wrong. Oh, oh no. It's not an Eveltal, dude. That is a Raveltal that I missed. Dude, I thought that he would have much higher stats than that. And also, looking at my team, I have a ton of attacking Pokemon. Everything is just very offensive on my team. And so, I think it might make the most sense to go for a more defensive Pokemon. Yes, it might be a little bit more lame, but who knows? Maybe it's going to have really high attack stats as well. Okay, okay, but, but this one could also be a fusion. Okay, so... So this is a whale. I got Kyogre, which usually I would be pretty excited about, but uh, we missed out on a fusion, which is two legendaries fused together. First though, of course, let's see what we missed out on. Show me a Mewtwo, Shebink. Yep, I knew it. I'm a nerd. Anyway, in the middle door, we missed out on a... That's a fusion Pokemon. That, my friends, is a Hydratina. I think it might be like a Gudra. Now that I'm thinking about it, if this is a Gudra, I'm so sad. Three, two, one. Ah, oh, 
this is really, really bad. It's cutie fly time. Oh my gosh. No way you brought him out first, dude. Oh gosh. Double shock and you're dead. Oh, oh my gosh. I did, literally didn't so... even get one move off. No, you paralyzed me. Yeah, I know. Sheesh. I have to slow this thing down. That is, it's very scary. Oh no. I can't use double shock. Oh gosh. And I'm dead. Oh, bye bye. Hello. Say hello to my little friend. His name Hi, is little friend. Evil doll. He, he's actually not that little. I lied. Ooh, okay, we did some serious damage right there. That did a little bit more. That did a little bit more than whatever your serious damage was. So let's see who will win. I am on half HP, though, so if you don't win, that's kind of trash out of you. I'm going to be honest. Please! Dark oh, okay. Wow, that was that did horrendous. Not, that, that was so that bad. Much. Oh, my gosh, dude. What the? How'd you hit me in this guy? It's a skill issue. Ow, oh, dude. Oh, my dude. goodness, brother. Ow. That does a lot. I actually hate Gudra, not only because he just trashed and lost to a ho, -ho that was half <laughs> HP, but also because I missed out on a Mewtwo and a Hydreigon when I picked him. Oh. Yeah. Oh, stop doing that. It doesn't matter. Oh, you still hit yes. me, bro. How you get me up there? Down I goes hopefully your best Pokemon. Is it? Is that your best Pokemon? Ah, interesting. Okay. Wow, that did a lot. Oh my gosh. Shebink. Down goes Dang Flygon. It, Wait, God, the tail's I... kind of crazy. Let's go. What the heck is going on right now? Oh my god. But I have Lugario. Lugario. This oh is my god. short king. Oh, he actually is kind of a short king, to be honest. Uh oh, Leech Seed. Someone's losing their health. I didn't give consent. I do not remember giving consent. Eh. Wait, I actually just sold. Oh no. Why did I do that? I have, I have no idea. You're dead. I should have just clicked Earthquake. <laughs> What am I doing? <laughs> no! He just set up his tree to die. This guy hates trees. Oh my gosh. I'm actually so dumb for that. Aqua step. No way that just killed. No way that just killed. It wasn't even super effective. Whoa. Wait, wait. And he's faster than Lucario? Yeah, he's... he's. I have a whale. No! Way you Beautifully get the ten percent freeze. Just uh, as I planned, ladies thaw, and gentlemen. Thaw, thaw, no. You are frozen, salad. I will slam please you to thaw, death. Please thaw, please thaw, 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 and crit, thaw, crit. Frozen <laughs> salad. Come on, please. Okay, this is my last chance to thaw. I'm clicking close combat. I need a big. I might even need a crit. Please thaw, please thaw. Dude. <laughs> that is so dumb, bro. That is actually so dumb. <laughs> Yes, let's go, dude! Whatever, that victory dude. was cold. I am cold. I guess GG's, GG's, GG's. If you guys enjoyed that video, make sure to leave a like on it and click right here to watch another awesome one.